everyone and welcome to Craftworks. Today I want to show you how to make a spotlight card. Um, I am using the Celebration set Detailed Dogwood and I wanted a card that was quite striking and bold so I've gone for real red and black but you could use any other colours. You could use pinks, blues, make it softer tones but like I said I wanted something really striking. Um, I'm also using the deckled rectangle dies and here they are you get eight in a pack and I've cut the larger one here which is one two three four the fifth one in black in preparation for this and then after I've stamped I will cut using the next size down with the white. So let me just get started. Um, I'm using the Stamparatus for this. I know that this is no longer available. It's a really large stamp. I'm using this one. So my advice would be to um, use something that you have. If it's not one of those, there are others around that you could purchase. Uh, right, so I've got I've got a basic card blank cut in real red, my matte layer and memento black ink. And I'm just going to close that down, give it a press, turn my card around the other side, ink it up, and that's that, I'm just going to move that out of the way. So now I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine. going to position that there and this die just in the middle. I don't know if you can see that. So there's part of it there. I'm going to straighten it up and then I'm going to cut. I'm looking for an even border top, bottom and sides. Should have just said right the way around, shouldn't I? So this is what I have. This piece is cut out of the middle. So now I'm going to colour it in. I'm using real red and green. don't know which green. Um, take your time doing this. Obviously, I probably should have done one as a prepare. If you don't have blends, use watercolour pencils, markers, anything you have.
to double check in a minute. Um, obviously, you can fast forward me if you don't want to watch me colouring. I'm using going to use two different blends for the red, um, the light one and the dark, just to make it more a little bit more dramatic. When it comes up to the edge, make sure you go off the edge. Just because because of the edges on this, it looks like it's torn. You can see the white, it's dark. This is what I wanted. So I'm using the fine nib. And I'm just going where the darker lines are to give it more more of the dark colour and I'm taking it off of the page as well So I don't know if you've had a look online, we have some new celebration items available at the moment and they are going to be around till the end of February. Obviously if you want any of the initial things, items that were available, they're still there as well. I think there's the markers, the in colour markers and uh, that's, a re that's really cool. I don't know if you've used markers before, you can use them to stamp, which is awesome. So this piece here, I'm actually taking right off the edge and I'm colouring in, I'm getting it on my glass mat, it will wipe off. But um, just because I've got, you will see a white border against the black. Now I'm going with a large tip and just circular motions and it just moves the colour around just ever so slightly. You can use whichever tip you like. I'm rushing now because I'm conscious that you're probably a little bit bored of watching this. Although some people find it quite therapeutic, um, it doesn't that look great already? And I'm aware Valentine's is coming up. You could make this an anniversary card, an I love you card, anything you like. just going to have a quick look. I'm going to put the black behind it and just double check. I've not got, see I've got a white edge just there. So I'm just going to take that off. Have it on there. We're good. Alright then. Let's get my glue and my card blank. So I'm popping this piece down first. Oh, if I can grab 
Bana kalabilir. I don't know what that little mark there is. Maybe I'll put a gem there. So that's that piece there. And we're going to pop it onto our black piece and then try and match up the, the pattern. Straighten everything up before you start gluing. So, colour blank. So now for the sentiments. So I have got just a piece of white and a scrap piece of black. So let me have a quick look to see. Maybe this time I'll go happy birthday. Instead of thinking of you. I love this set. Go to greetings. I hope it stays in the next book. I love it. I love the script. It's just gorgeous and I love the fact you've got different sizes if you haven't got it yet order it it's brilliant you won't be disappointed and now I'm going to bring my trimmer in Take a bit of the bottom there. Mm. Can you hear? Everybody in my house is coughing and sneezing today. Some dimensionals. Like that. 
then I have used the matte black dots, which are really quite cool. And I'm going to put one there, put one there. And I always struggle with the last one. I've got a dodgy mark there. I don't know if that won't lie about that. I think I'm going to go around. Overthinking it. There. Not sure I like that. Might move that one. Let's pull that one off. And that's it. There we have our finished card. I will bring the original one in so you can have a look at that one. So I've got one that's happy birthday, one that is thinking of you. So thank you so much for joining me today. This item, this stamp set is a celebration. So you can still get this with, I think, I'm not sure, is it a £45 or a £90? purchase through stamping up but um, honestly it's worth it it's so so pretty um, I can show you a tiny six by six card that I made using that which is here I love those dots to me that looks like the old-fashioned the, the ribbon that we used to have and I just thought that was really cool so yeah i have used this a lot already so it's well well worth it um thank you again for joining me and i will see you soon goodbye